You know, I got a message from YouTube the other day saying I'd uploaded over 400 videos. I guess this will be like 401 or two or something. And in this video, I want to tell you a little bit about why and how these videos exist. And I think it's going to help make sense of some stuff that you actually already know and might help you in your day to day just to take a better slant on stuff that's probably already happening. Just take a quick look and scan through these five things that are on the screen now. They are what Bonnie Ware wrote about in her book, Five Regrets of the Dying. It's a pretty self-explanatory title. And these are those five regrets. Let's broadly brush over those five. Essentially, they all have a common theme. They're all regrets about things that in essence, people haven't done. And therein lies the crux of what this video is all about. Perhaps we should rename Nike's slogan from just do it to just start it. Hopefully you know me well enough by now to know that we're gonna begin with a little bit of science and history. In the early 20th century, there were two pioneering psychologists, one called Maria Ovinskina and the other one called Bloomer Zaganik. They actually worked together and their observations were based around similar things, essentially tasks and humans' reactions to those tasks. Bloomer Zaganik's professor observed that waiting staff tended to remember customers' orders very intricately and specifically until the moment they paid and then they forgot all the information. Probably a little bit like you doing the washing. I'd imagine whatever washing load you have on now, you can probably remember quite specifically what items are in there. But if I asked you what you did yesterday, you probably have very little recollection. Essentially, the brain is really good at using CPU power for a task in hand and then immediately forgetting it. That's the Zaganic effect. We'll come back to that momentarily. The obviously and keener effect is similar, but based around the fact that humans have a tendency to want to finish tasks that they've started. It's very simple. Think about James Clear's book, Atomic Habits. He says about trying to develop the idea of starting a task. The habit is not doing 45 minutes of yoga. The habit you want to build is getting your yoga mat out because the obviously and keener effect will make you want to finish the task that you started. So remember, the garlic effect is the human's tendency to specifically remember tasks that are in process and then immediately forget them. Obviously, in keener effect, is the human's tendency to want to finish a task that they've actually started. The science in history ends here. If we go back to the five regrets of the dying, you can see that these are tasks either not started or incomplete. And it makes total sense in human development and human nature as to why these are gonna be the things that are going through our heads as we slip off this mortal coil. They're things that we wanted to do or know we should have done and they stay in our minds. Much as go back tens or hundreds of thousands of years in human development, it's the tasks that we need to do, that we need to carry out for the tribe or for ourselves, that we need to spend most of our brain power on. So whilst it's perfectly natural in human development to do this, it does make sense of why a lot of us go to bed, worrying about things, wake up in the morning, think about things that we haven't done. And that's where things like journaling and to-do lists come in. That's why they're really useful. What we're actually noting down are the things that our brain, via the Zaganic effect, have forgotten about. We don't need to worry about them anymore. We did those things. Get rid of that CPU usage and just focus on the task in hand. But that's not always healthy in a day and age when we've got hundreds of tasks that are never ending, constantly going through our minds. It's gonna drive us down and make us feel like we haven't achieved anything. To do lists and journaling, very helpful. So getting the message from YouTube that I'd uploaded 400 videos is a reminder really that I'd hit record like I did with this video. The whole reason for this video is the whole reason for this video. I procrastinate about stuff like everybody does. For every one, two videos I do, there are probably five, 10 that I've started, maybe written something about, procrastinated about, just not done. But I have also done 400 videos from the very first video. They're not for you guys, they're for me. They're all about my own personal development. It just seems that there's an awful lot of you that are very interested in the same topics and subjects that I'm looking into. As I've said many, many times, the reason I make these videos are exactly the same reason why you lot watch them. And I'll continue to make them as long as I have something to say. But if you want to follow the journey, then subscribe to the channel and we'll keep going on this journey together. As they say, if you want to learn about something, read about it. If you want to understand something, do it. But if you want to master something, then teach it. And for me, that's what these videos are about, passing on the things that are going through my mind as I make my journey both along this path and the metaphorical one. And sometimes the path is a dead end and sometimes it's got a cliff to the side of it and sometimes it's clear and present and you know where you want to go. But at the end of the day, there's still paths we need to take and enjoying that adventure 
and exploration is really the journey in the moment, right? So these videos existing is all about essentially hitting record. That is the start of the process. All the procrastination, the research, the thinking that goes into it, it all gets solidified and summarized for me anyway, when I actually hit the record button, I actually have to talk to you guys. And inevitably, the more often I hit record, the more often I hit upload, and the more often you hit play, which means we can share this knowledge and go on this journey together. When I look back over all those videos I've done, it's actually quite surprising the stuff that I've done over the last four years. You forget because the tendency is to forget about the stuff we've done, move on to the next thing and regret the stuff that we haven't done or just to focus in on those things at the very least. So just to summarize our lovely little walk in the woods, let's just recap the two effects. The Garnick effect is a tendency to vividly and specifically remember a task that is current and in process. Once we've completed that task, we have a tendency to forget all about it. Or the Ankina effect is the tendency to want to finish a task once we begin it. So let's take those two psychological observations and put it into something practical. The first thing, number one, whatever it is that's on your mind that you want to do, something that will be fulfilling for you, and it could be a small thing, like essentially texting somebody, a friend, a family member, and just letting them know that you're thinking of them and that you miss them, perhaps arranging to go for a coffee with them, or it could be something far bigger, far grander. It could be perhaps starting a new business, moving house, something much more heavy, the point is, the obviously Kina effect proves that if we actually begin that, stop procrastinating, because that is not active doing, and actually get the ball rolling, for me, it's hitting record on these videos more often than not, just start it. And secondly, the idea of keeping some sort of record. These videos, for me, are my journaling, but perhaps you buy a nice notebook, start writing down at the end of the day the things that you have done, have a tendency to remember the things that you've actually accomplished because ultimately that's the stuff that we tend to push away and we focus on the stuff that we haven't completed. Really, I'd imagine if you start doing that, and the Stoics knew this a long time ago, Marcus Aurelius et al, all knew that journaling was a big part of the path to feeling happier. And those of you that do journal, maybe leave a comment below and let me know how you started, what questions you answer. For me, they're these videos for you. It might be in response to a set of questions. But those are my two big takeaways from the stuff I've been thinking about once I came across these five regrets of the dying are, if we can get in the habit of thinking about the stuff that we have accomplished as we slip off the mortal coil, maybe the things that do go through our mind are the things we have accomplished and maybe we'll accomplish more if we actually just start it. Thanks for watching this lovely walk in the woods once again and I'll see you on the next video. And in the meantime though, just try and remember to look after yourselves, okay? And all those people that are around you, whatever it is, just start it.